Most people in the civilian Nazi administration were no more apolitical or honorable, and yet many of them never faced any real justice either. Eberhard Taubert, who worked under Goebbels in his propaganda department, worked to create anti-Semitic propaganda and wrote the script for the 1940 film The Eternal Jew. He later worked as an anti-communist propagandist for the United States Secret Service. Reinhard Gellin worked in Nazi German intelligence services as the top anti-communist propagandist, and later for the CIA to also produce anti-communist propaganda. Otto von Bolschweg, a close associate of Adolf Eichmann, and one of the single most important people in the planning of the final solution, later became an important spy for the CIA and was protected from prosecution for decades by the CIA. Radio Free Europe and Radio Liberty, both anti-communist propaganda outlets funded by the CIA, were also staffed with many former Nazi propagandists, like those who worked under Gerhard von Mende, who later himself became an intelligence asset for the CIA. Genocide profiteering industrialists, meanwhile, like Friedrich Flick, an open Nazi supporter and donator, as well as close friend of Heinrich Himmler, was released in 1951, while Alfred Krupp, the single most important arms supplier in Nazi Germany, was released from prison in 1952. Krupp was given back his entire property, and Flick went on to become one of the richest people in the entire world.